Hello. Rachel's here. Hello. Not me saying hello after Rachel's here. Uh, we're getting our nails done today and we just had our little pink coconut matchas over there. Tried a new matcha. It's a little, it's giving spinach. Some matcha varieties are really vegetal and like high in iron. But I'm in my luteal phase, so I think it's good for me. What do we think? Here's the ants on a log. We got carrot hot dog. This carrot is actually moldy, so it's perfectly fine to use up and let that go. Got some expired baked beans, spaghetti, and some pickles. This one I feel like isn't even that bad, but I just tried to make it look very bland, so think we achieved it. Taco Bell's done. Now we're gonna film the matcha videos for TikTok. Um, should be pretty easy. I just feel like I wanna include as much as possible so that I really cover it all because you know how TikTok is. People love to like poke holes in whatever it is you're doing. And I also feel like since I'm always sharing matcha tips and kind of reviewing people and helping them out with making their matcha better, I really wanna make sure that I don't forget anything in my own matcha video. And then I have to start prepping for the Pinterest TV Live, which I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit nervous about just because it's been a while since I've done a live. I used to do them a lot, but I don't know, something lately about social media has started to feel like so much more vulnerable. Like whenever I share myself in a way that's not um, pre-screened or like edited and, and watched by me like three times before posting, I just feel so nervous lately and it's a really weird thing. I feel like maybe it's the fact that I haven't been vlogging as much because I always feel so comfortable on YouTube. It's almost like a practice, you know, like the more you do it, the easier it is, maybe. I don't really know, but it's matcha time. I need this camera, so I'm gonna switch you over to my phone for a minute. But I did also get a new phone, by the way. I'm not usually the type to get every single new phone, but three of my friends have the iPhone 14, and every time they take a video for me on their phone and I compare it to one of my videos, like I stitch them together in a video that I'm editing, I'm like, wow, I can really see the difference. And I kind of feel like because it's my job, it's sort of justified, but the biggest thing for me was the battery life. It just wasn't going great. It just wasn't holding up on my last phone. So I ended up getting the new phone thanks to a little bit of peer pressure from my friends, Ray and Mayu, and the quality is so much better. So we'll see how it looks in the vlog because uh, I need it on this camera. All right, the live is over. It was actually so much fun. And now the beauty is I have these cucumber sesame noodles that I'm gonna eat for lunch. I just added a little bit of tempeh on top for some protein to make it like a complete meal because um, I'm trying to be more mindful about protein these days. And the easiest way to do that, I feel like it's just like add a little protein topping. So we got some tempeh, but these noodles are so good guys. I think the best part too is that they really took such short time to make. The live was only 30 minutes and I didn't even use up all of my time. But look at how good that looks. They got a little bit dry from just sitting, but they're creamy, they're a little spicy. The cucumber with it is just like perfect. I love when I finish a recipe just right around lunchtime. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna finish this lunch and then I need to open some mail because I have a lot of things in the mail today. so I can get serious and get in there with my box cutter. One, two, three, four, five, six things today. We're gonna start with this gray one, which I don't know where it's from. This actually might be something really boring. I feel like this might be a hard drive cord. Oh, it's a phone case. Phone case for my iPhone because they didn't have the pink in stock when I got my new phone and I've just been raw dogging it since I got the phone and it's been stressful. This is just like the classic Apple Store pink one. This one is from Dieu. I don't know who this is from because I don't think I've ever received PR from them. The eye mask gels that I got, I got for Christmas from my aunt. And the address says angels only. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> like how did this happen? Don't get me wrong, I love Dieu and I've actually been really wanting to try which is the serum? Is this it? No. Oh, this one. I've been wanting to try the deliverance serum for a really long time, so I feel like I just got so lucky. Thank you to whoever at Dio sent me this stuff. I actually already have a pair of these, but this is a reusable eye mask gel so that you don't have to use the single-use ones. I'm not kidding. I've had this on my to-try list for the longest time. 
Did somebody send this to me? Okay, next we have this collab. It's a collab between Deadpool and Way, and I freaking love Deadpool. I've been using their detergent since maybe last year, like November or something like that, and it smells so good. I also use their room spray, but I kind of use it as a body spray because I love the scent so much. But look at this like really cute box. This little... Oh my God, it actually opens. Are you kidding? That's so cute. The detergent comes in aluminum like this, which is infinitely recyclable. It's a velvety rich rose fragrance with hints of bergamot, lychee, cedarwood, and white musk. Oh my God. That smells so good. This smells amazing. My go-to scents from them though are taunt and milk. Those are my two favorite. But this smells so good. I can't wait to use this. I can't wait to do laundry now. Next up we have a package from Duh. They are, people call them Dough, but it really is Duh if you're reading it in French. Um, but these are their new products. And oh my God, how cute. You're joking. They do such a good job with like packaging. Oh my gosh. So they brought back their donuts. I did not get to try the first launch and I really wanted to, but now they have a chocolate donut. Are you kidding? They put the original sold out donut in here too. How exciting, because I never got to try them. I love mush because, I feel like I might've shared this with you guys, but for a period of my life, I ate way too much oatmeal and I really overdid it to the point where I hate making oatmeal. Like the idea of making oatmeal for myself is dreadful. These are like pre-made overnight oats and they're so handy for like days where I'm in a rush and I don't have time to cook for myself. Look at this massive flavor. They usually come in like single serving packages, but this is hilarious. I love this. The original flavor, gigantic. And I need to post them on my stories. Um, I always love sharing them on my stories and I feel like you guys enjoy it too. So time to clean and I'll be back in a second. I just took a little bit of a power nap. Not really a nap, a scrolling break. Let's call it what it is. I needed a little bit of a moment away from the kitchen for a second because I have one last video to film today, but I am really proud of myself for powering through because ever since the cookbook, it's been difficult for me to get back to like the same cadence of my filming in a day. I'd usually be able to film like two, three little things a day. And lately it's been tough even just to cook for myself. Like a lot of nights I've just wanted to order things in because I don't know, I guess the burnout is really real when you work with food a lot and it was an intense period of time. So we're celebrating the fact that I'm even doing this pasta today and I'm also motivated by the fact that my garlic scapes are starting to go off a little bit. I have a YouTube video that I posted from back when I lived in New York all about garlic scapes, so you can check it out if you haven't seen it already, but grab some at the farmer's market like a week ago, two weeks ago now, and I need to use them before they go bad because the season is very short to get garlic scapes. to the Planta opening. This is their first LA location, which is so exciting uh, because Planta is one of my favorite restaurants, period, for vegan food. They also have the best mocktails and I'm so excited because now we have one in LA, finally. life update sometimes i feel like the best vlogs are the ones where we're just hanging out at home because i haven't really been feeling super open to sharing about my personal life and how i've been feeling uh, and i know i talked about that a little bit <clears throat> in one of my last vlogs but i had some things on my mind that i also felt like maybe some of you guys could relate to it's may 30th today so it's one of the last days of mental health month and i've realized that i've become so much less comfortable talking about mental health than I used to be because if you guys remember I originally started this whole Instagram, YouTube, everything account because I was working on healing my own relationship with food at the time um, but somehow along the way I think with growth and just like a couple of experiences with people it's been harder and harder for me to open up and it's sad to say but I guess I've learned that sometimes 
keeping things to yourself is a protective act in some ways. So what is new? I've been traveling a lot. I owe you guys a Washington DC vlog. You'll probably see it before this one because I want them to be in order. I've kind of been in my like dressing up era. Like I've really been enjoying looking a little bit more put together and putting on like a cute outfit, even dresses. And recently I've had the opportunity to do that more because friends of mine are getting married. I've been to a bachelorette party. I have another one coming up. Um, and I've been to also a wedding. And it's been kind of nice. I realized that I sort of missed the whole getting ready and getting dressed thing. Um, a lot of the things that I do are very wellness focused. You know, during the day, kind of calm, chill, casual. And I think for a long time I associated getting ready and like going out with just like drinking because that's really what I used to do. I would cake on the makeup and be dressed up like crazy and then go out to the clubs when I was really young. Obviously I'm not really going out to the clubs and I'm not wearing that much makeup like the way I used to, but it is nice to kind of get over that association that I had with like looking nice and getting ready with like going out. And I think the benefits of getting dressed sometimes like really nicely uh, are underrated. Like it's an easy kind of fix to sort of remember to get ready every once in a while. Um, my mom used to say this thing which is that like when you kind of live your life in sweatpants and you start to like cozy down, like working from home even, you should still get dressed every day. And I think it's because it really puts you in a different mindset when you're kind of getting ready for the day versus just like being home in pajamas. And even if I'm staying home, I can wear um, a cuter set of like home or lounge clothes, you know? So I've really been enjoying that. I kind of want to do like an updated makeup routine too because it's changed quite a bit because I've experimented with some new products. Um, the last bachelorette that I went to was in Tulum and I really needed makeup products that would kind of stay put on my face. As far as how it looks, I don't think anything's too different to be honest. I really like to keep things natural and I feel like I look kind of funny with like a lot of makeup on. I also shared a couple months ago when I was in New York that I wasn't really doing super well um, and I was having a hard time showing up especially on social media because I was so anxious. I was super anxious like about social media, about posting. Um, and I think part of it comes down to the fact that I've been kind of struggling with this like weird thing. I don't know what it's called. It's not exactly body dysmorphia because um, it's not really related to my body. And I don't really have the words to describe it because like I don't know what the trigger is. I've been starting to feel really weird about the way that I look. And it's not to say that I don't like how I look. It's just the problem that I'm having is like, I will look at a piece of content that I filmed a week ago, a month ago, a couple months ago, um, a couple years ago, it gets really bad. And I see the way I look and I feel like it doesn't look like me and I feel like my face looks so different. Everything about me looks so different constantly. And sometimes it's day to day. I'll be like, why do I look different today than I did yesterday when I've done everything the same? I don't feel like much has changed. And I would sometimes see a photo of myself from like, the next day or two days ago and be like, why do I look like that? And it's making it hard for me to kind of show up on social media and post content because I feel like I'm going to look at some content and really dislike it within a few days. And I think what's really difficult, especially, is the fact that like I'm working on this cookbook right now and obviously it takes a really long time, <laughs> as I'm sure you guys know, but a standard cookbook takes about two years to write and finish and, you know, be in your hands printed. The photos that we took, I really loved them, especially the cover possibilities. And now when I see them, I'm kind of like, you know, it's crazy that I thought they looked good because now when I look at them, I feel like I don't look good. And then it also turns me off from kind of posting content for the future because I just think to myself, well, if I post this, am I going to look at this in like a few months time and think to myself, this is terrible. This is such a bad photo. Like I can't believe I posted it or video or whatever. And it makes it difficult for me to kind of like be motivated to create content in that way. Of course, I know this is all very first world, not even problems that I'm talking about, but like, I just have never really felt this way where it's not even about body image or like, it's not even about looking bad necessarily. It's just like not liking the way I look like within the matter of days. Like it really just depends on the day. So maybe that is body dysmorphia. Like again, it's not really to do with my body at all. Um, it's more like just, I see myself and it doesn't feel like that's how I look. And it's a really weird, <laughs> unsettling feeling, I'll be honest. Did I go a little heavy on the blush? That's kind of my current fixation. It could be worse, you know, but it just, it's a weird feeling. And I don't really know, I've never experienced it before until like very recently. Um, but if you can imagine having like an archive of your life in video and photo, and then having to see old things sometimes, I don't know. I just, 
kind of thought that like by this age I would sort of look the same for the rest of my life or for the next couple decades anyway you know what I mean like get settled into like this face and this body I guess throughout my life I've been so used to my body constantly changing in the way that I look facially as a result too um, because I was always up and down in recovery uh, eating disorder stuff back in recovery like you know so it's um maybe it's that I don't really know. On a lighter note, today we are going to Orange County and I'm super excited. I need to pick it up actually and like get myself moving because it takes quite a while to get there. I'm going because I'm working with Taco Bell, which is probably not a sentence I ever thought would come out of my mouth. Um, but they're launching something vegan. I think by the time this vlog comes out, it'll be out already and probably old news. So I think I can tell you. But they're launching a vegan crunch wrap, which is really exciting because before you would have to kind of modify what they had on the menu to make it vegan friendly. And now this is like completely vegan no modifications required um so i think that's really really cool and i'm excited because i get to try it and i'm also gonna like promote it and it's kind of funny because like it'll only be available for a week at certain locations once it once it launches on june 8th um but they're testing it out and i feel like this is what a lot of fast food chains do is that they test it out to see how it's going to do and if it does well and the response is there then they'll keep it full time so i really hope that's the case um, I hope they choose to keep it permanently. I hope people show up for it. I know I will because I'm super excited. I must say, I went on a road trip to Arizona uh, with my family. I didn't vlog, I don't think. Did I? I don't think I did. Uh, for Christmas time and at that time, I thought to myself, you know, I've seen so many articles about like McDonald's, Burger King, other fast food chains, like what to order and what you should get. But the truth is when I was out there, there really weren't any vegan options at McDonald's except for like the fries, which I don't even know if they're vegan. I didn't end up having them anyway, but it is nice to have like a vegan option that you don't have to worry about and you don't have to ask for substitutions. Like I went to Shake Shack recently to try their vegan burger and the patty itself is vegan, but the bun, the cheese, the sauce are all not vegan. So how you have to order it is on a lettuce wrap, no sauce, no cheese. So you get a patty on some lettuce, which is fine. And if you're watching this and planning on going, it's not the best patty. I wouldn't, I would never go out of my way to go again. It just wasn't that great. But things like that that make you nervous because why is it called like the, is it called like the veg, the garden bird, something, you know, it just makes you think like, oh my God, an option. And then you get there and you realize you've got to do like all these modifications still. Um, and whenever you make a modification, you have to be a little bit worried about like, did the staff or the server get it down right? Is this, is, are the cooks going to read it right are they gonna accidentally put something on because they're in autopilot mode you know it's just it's a whole thing but now we gotta get in the uber and i gotta do some work in the uber big time because it's it's a busy day it's tuesday today but it very much feels like a monday this is the outfit it's very mid but <laughs> we're not doing anything crazy i was thinking about maybe wearing a pink top so that it would like be a little bit of pink for the feet or whatever but um i realized i need to actually pick up some more pink tops they're harder to come by than you'd think like nice casual pink tops that are like the perfect shade of pink and as you can see my bedroom is a complete mess right now which is just like the true state of my mind right now so uh we gotta go we are in orange county it's chilly in orange county and it's even gloomier here we're here to make a quick little matcha stop and then we're out to taco bell Campaign. <laughs> We're shooting our campaigns in the car. Still haven't tried it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so real. That really is the life we live. Put the mic there. We got the mic. We got the camera. The tripod. <laughs> We're not fucking around. We're not. <laughs> not today. Not for Taco Bell. <laughs> so they can talk about Daddy. Can work with them again. Do, do, do. Get it, girl. <laughs> I didn't even know what to say. <laughs> Of our crunch wraps. We got the crunch wraps. I'm gonna be honest, I have not had Taco Bell for three years. I was just telling Peter, and I've never had a Baja Blast before until today. But I'm so impressed. 
obviously the beans were already vegan, but now yeah. you can get the cheese. Now there's like the another cheese, option. The blanco sauce. And it has a little bit more protein if you don't like beans. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I got the heart. Taco Bell, Taco Bell. I really want this to become like a nationwide thing. Versus whenever like you're traveling, yeah, like the airport. Road yes. trips. Mm. Wow. Thank you, Daddy Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Follow Peter if you don't already. That is Peter. Peter tries all the vegan food I feel like in LA. Not as much as I, I do. I try. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many vegan places to eat at. Look at what they gave us. We yeah, have literally stats. like <laughs> Damn. Maybe they're just blanks. <laughs> Imagine. Just cards? <laughs> yeah, literally just cards that you can hand out. Oh. Well, that was our day. Taco we'll Bell. Go back to LA. Back to LA, we go. It's the 1st of June today, and we're headed to Santa Barbara. I'm up early, did my makeup. I don't ever usually do a full face like this before, I don't know, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Very rare occasion, but I wanted to show you guys this new light that I just installed in the bedroom, which I feel like makes a huge difference in the vibe. Um, I've had them actually in the box for quite a while, and I just didn't realize that it wasn't that easy to put up by yourself, so I finally got help yesterday, and look at that. I think it looks so good. I'm gonna show you the living room in a second because the lanterns in there look even better. Really fits the space, but what's cool about this one, and I'll show you, is that when you turn it on, it's red. Right now you can't really tell, I'll show you later tonight when I get home, um, but I love this because it's supposed to kind of like counteract the effects of blue light and it's supposed to be very helpful for you to kind of get to sleep. So as soon as the sun goes down, this is the only light that I turn on in my bedroom and I find that it helps me just kind of start to wind out a little bit more. I'll show you tonight because it looks so much cooler at night. Just my hair, I'm just going to brush it out so it looks a little bit more natural because this is a little too like curly for me personally, for my liking. Um, let's see out and then we'll put some like oil in my hair or something like that i want to get some kind of tripod situation or little stand for my camera in the bathroom so that when i get in the bathroom i can just like pop you guys on it and i don't have to worry about where the camera is and you guys can see me but that's a problem for another day actually my hair's not looking too frizzy i think this is it so there's the hair here's what the living room looks like so we've actually got two up here i like that they're different sizes this one's supposed to hang over the dining table, which I'm going to switch out pretty soon because these are really flimsy and I'm going to use, they separate, so I'll use it probably as a desk. My, this is my favorite corner of the entire home, uh, but I just feel like it fits so nicely. I wish the lantern was just a tiny bit lower, but the cord wasn't as long as I thought when I purchased it. So this is what it's looking like. We made it to Santa Barbara. Uh, it's a little bit warmer than LA. We're gonna get some breakfast before we head to the CV. I didn't even say why we're here. Um, we're here because we're gonna go check on some samples for a project that I've been working on with the CV team. I guess I can't show you too much in this vlog because it's gonna be a while until it's ready in the fall. Um, but I think if you're like a close watcher, you'll kind of know what's coming. Obviously the product is pink, that's as much as I'm gonna say basically, but we need to film some of the process of like putting the pieces together because I wanna be able to show you guys like the full journey once the product is like out, out, which I think will be super fun. And I've never been to Santa Barbara. There are a lot of little vegan spots here, so we're gonna grab breakfast. That's our first stop today. And then on the way home, we're gonna get some vegan cheese, which is like funny, but probably a highlight. Oh yeah. <laughs> because we've been talking about this vegan cheese for so long, we just never had a good enough reason to be out here in like Santa Barbara or like on the route to Ojai. So anyway, um, we're at Tiger Tiger right now and we're gonna get some, I think banana bread and just like breakfast. It's actually early, we got here early. So that's why we're here.
We just had a meeting with the CV's team at their office. Now we're on this cute little street, State Street, um, and it's gorgeous. We're gonna have a little lunch at Satellite. Just kidding, they're closed. So. <laughs> I guess that Asia place is also, I looked up vegan, vegan friendly. So I don't know how many days it's been since I last picked up the camera to vlog. I figured I'd just show you because I'm in the middle of kind of redecorating a little bit right now. So I'm going to transfer the stuff from the old coffee cart, if you guys remember, into this cabinet. I just feel like it's a little bit more tidy looking because the shelving is covered. I'm gonna set a timer for myself because I need to actually get back to work. I have some things to film and merch launch day is tomorrow when you're watching this. This is my snack of choice. If you haven't had this already from Trader Joe's, absolutely incredible. All right, here's the final result. Of course, we've got boxes back there, but this is what it's looking like. I think I may need to move that mirror up there because it's touching so closely, it's a little awkward, but it looks so much better already. Here are all the sweatshirts. <laughs> this shit is heavyweight, for real. Like this, this probably weighs like 50 pounds. It's so hard to move this. We're just doing a last minute count before everything goes live. We have like, I think 30 minutes until everything goes live. And obviously I am wearing mine. Just in the car. <laughs> the merch just oh, went people live. Oh wow, we Sorry. got one order already. It's not even 201 yet. That's amazing. Where's the map? The first one is the latte Extremely one. Extremely LA and New York. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if there's anyone like overseas. Not yet, I guess. <laughs> what time is it for them? It doesn't need to be, whoa, what did I do? <laughs> oh my God, we've got, oh, okay, two orders. Hi, Slay, guys. the tea. Time. This is my newest obsession. So I got the Ninja Creamy. Listen, I feel like Ninja creates a lot of products that become very overhyped, but this one is worth the hype. Let me just show you. Look at the texture of this. And this is all the creamy did. Look at how creamy that is. Do you see? Oop. Like the texture is like frozen custard. Mm. I've been seeing a lot of people on TikTok, especially, make recipes with the creamy, and they always happen to not be vegan. So I thought I need to get this machine and experiment with vegan protein recipes, and it works and it's really, really good. So I'm just eating this right now. It's actually such a nice hot day today. I went to Silver Lake Meadow today, which really reminded me so much of Central Park in New York where people were actually sitting out. There isn't really much park culture here in LA, which is something that I've realized. Um, it's a much bigger thing in New York and it's really nice because on days like this where it's actually nice, this is the hottest it's been since January or this year started. It's been so cold and foggy and gloomy in LA and today is glorious, which is also why I decided to have this today because I get cold very quickly. It's actually warm enough today to eat this. Mm. I am never having my protein shakes as a drink again. Anyway, I worked out today, went to the park, got a little bit of a tan, I hope. And I have to be home for the rest of the day and we're gonna pack orders together. That's kind of it for the rest of the day. I'm so grateful, you guys. I think I received over 300 orders within the first like three days of dropping my merch and it makes me so happy. I'm so glad that you guys like the designs. I will be doing a restock soon-ish. It's just that um, producing the clothing takes time, so it's gonna be a little while. But this is why I give you guys advance notice to set an alarm because when this stuff sells out, it sells out. I figured I should end the vlog here. I'm just gonna be packing for the rest of the time. Hope you guys like this video. I know it's all over the place, but my life is all over the place these days. And I'll see you in another video soon.